Hello. This video is about changing the permalinks in WordPress. Now your permalinks are the um, the end bit of your web address. Each, each web page has got its own address. Um, I'll just show you one. Th this is a web page, example.com and then there's a slash and then some more bits and the permalink is the bit after .com that's the permalink so let's see important changing your permalink structure can stop inbound links from working so before you do anything remember that if you if you change your permalinks it can it it will change how this looks you, you could change this into that and so the links, inbound links from other people's website to your website can stop working. So be careful if you change them, make sure you know what you're doing. Right, I'll just show you how to change the permalinks first, and then we'll I'll explain why you might want to. So in WordPress, go on your dashboard, settings, permalinks. And then you've got some choices here. If you click this button here, or this text, it'll take you to the WordPress website and that shows you, it tells you about permalinks and it gives you some different choices you can choose you can have the year in the perm oh, the year in the permalink you can have the month, the day all different things like that and you, what we're going to do, we're going to include the poster name in the permalink and um, by including the poster name in the permalink it means we can um, we can add keywords to the end of the permalink this bit here so, right, why permalinks matter? If your permalinks include your post name, you can include your SEO keywords in your page URLs, and Google likes this. So you want your keywords in the URL, and this will help you. So what do I do? On brand new sites, I set the permalink structure to post name. We've got several choices, and I choose this one, post name. Um, on established sites, I avoid changing the permalinks if I can. I only consider changing permalinks if the structure of the current permalink does not include the post name at all. See, this is not really a good permalink because it's got the date before the post name, but it does have the post name in it, so I wouldn't change that. Uh, and what else I do, I make sure I've got everything else right first before I consider changing permalinks on an established site. If it's a brand new site, just set your permalinks to a post type, a uh, post name, this one. Just set your links to that, or a brand new site, and that's all you need to worry about. The only thing is, we're talking about websites that are already established, they've already got inbound links, people pointing to your site. Right, before you make any changes, back up the site and your database make a note of your current permalink structure so if your current permalink structure was this one you, I would copy that down and make sure you know what it is in case you want to go back to that if you change mine you want to go back so where did we get to there we are how to make the change go to settings permalinks and set it to post name then click save right what you can do because the, the permalink changes when you when you change the settings and that can affect inbound links what you need to do is go to Yoast's website Yoast um, one of the most important people in WordPress SEO if you go to Yoast's website and search for this page how to change your WordPress permalink structure and the link to it is it's that yoast.com change WordPress permalink structure so, and on that page, I'll explain to you why, why it's important changing permalinks. But there's a tool down here. You click this button. I'm not actually online at the moment. Just click that. If you click this button, and you'll see this. You know, taking its time. Oh, there we go. Uh, you put your domain name in here. Choose which one your old permalink structure was, and then click generate and then you get this that you paste into your HT access file um, there's a thing in WordPress called a .ht access and you paste this code in there at the top of it 
but I wouldn't do that unless you know what you're doing. I wouldn't change the permalinks unless you know what you're doing because it, it has a lot of repercussions. So, um, something else you'll say is your URL should end with your post name or the category then the post name and your slug should be no more than three to five words. I'll just show you what the slug is just in case you don't know. Um, right. Now I'll zoom in a bit so you can actually see it hopefully. When you make a web page, um, this the end bit is the slug. Now that's what we want to get rid of. We want that to, to be like this is called my blog post one, and we want this end bit not to be a number but to be the words in here. So we'll change the permalinks. Change it to post name. Click save. I will go back to that post. Right now, can you see how it's changed? Instead of being a number, it's actually the words that were in here. But you can change that if you want to by clicking the edit button and then type anything you want in there. So we change that to my blog. Click OK, and this has changed. So that's basically all you need to know. And I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye for now.